Hi, I'm Eve Ash. Every organisation needs great leaders and staff to deliver the best results. The problem is that many people are just not motivated by their work. They blame the culture, they blame their managers, or they say they've got too much work on. In this series, Workplace Excellence, we provide a whole range of skills and examples to get people at all levels excited about their jobs and motivated to achieve results. These 10 short programs give you the strategies and skills to make your business shine. The first two DVDs, Vision and Values and Inspirational Leadership, are great for leadership development. When the vision is strong enough, it actually pulls people forward. I've used these videos in my own workshops and seen an immediate reaction. Leaders start to communicate their vision more effectively and they go about working out how to make their values more meaningful for their people. Then with the key points covered in the next program, they can really self-assess and build their own leadership skills. I'm Jude Munro. I'm Chief Executive Officer of Brisbane City Council. Oh, she's one in a million. I think she's gutsy. Jude is a great example as a CEO. She's fun. You see her riding on scooters and bikes. Oh, she's fantastic. She's really actually engaging. Very committed. She makes us committed. How we can empower other staff mm. in the organisation. And The other thing that you can't miss with Jude is her ability to, in group settings, project her passion. And we thought it was a great idea to set up a group of individuals here. You know, sitting in the audience of one of those road shows, listening to her speak gave me the courage to say, yes, I'm willing to do more. Now this program, Motivating Fun Workplace, is all about motivation. My name is Bridget Carey. My job here is to look after the administration of the offices and the operations. We've put kitchens on every floor so that um, the staff facilitates a free breakfast. We provide a breakfast for everyone. Each program has a specifically designed workbook to get your staff engaged and to help you apply the principles to your own business. There are key points, discussion questions and some activities with handouts. You could use it just for an hour of team building and get some great results. Open communication and teamwork is all about building collaborative relationships with staff and with managers. The culture here is very open, people are very honest, very supportive, people include people so you don't feel excluded. Can we put him back into the open and close our beds? Yeah, yeah, we can do that. And every organisation needs to have people who are focused on delivering excellent service. So in Passion for Service Excellence, we meet people who are passionate about their work. We just go out of our way to help people. Right, we can organise that. And show the importance of building friendly relationships, knowing their products, and understanding clients' needs. Do you just want to do the sightseeing one, uh, or are you interested in the trekking version? The trekking version will be the trekking, Yeah, yeah, that's good. I've done a little bit of cruising myself, and I like to talk with the captain. Oh, OK. Where have you been in the past? We should be encouraging people to come up with creative ways of doing things. And this program, Innovation and Continuous Improvement, will show you the way. One of the best ways is to say to people, you know, this is the issue that we have on the table. Uh, this is where we want our business to be in, in six months' time. How are we going to get there? I'd love all of you to go off and write me a mini business plan about where you see this business going. Our innovation strategy is find, promote and replicate. And I think that's the heart of innovation. When people are encouraged to contribute new initiatives, they see work not just as a job, but as a valuable part of their lives. In fact, many of the ideas in the next program, Green and Giving, came from staff who wanted to make a difference. The bikes are stored up in reception and everyone's allowed to use them. The Workplace Excellence series deals with up-to-date issues, so because they're current, people can identify with them. 
Recognition and Feedback, one of my favourite programs in the series. We have to give people regular feedback, acknowledge their work and be creative with rewards. We use 360 degree feedback. When we say 360s, everybody that you deal with has the ability to give you feedback on how you perform in your role. In this program we see a variety of feedback tools and how to deliver constructive feedback without demoralising anyone. Negative is actually seen as constructive rather than the first time they hear from you is just a negative. Do, do you think that's, that's reasonable feedback? Yeah, no, definitely. The last two titles are sometimes considered to be optional extras rather than a must. But if you want to have productive people, they need a healthy work-life balance. So check out the strategies in wellbeing and balance. And topping off the series is Employer of Choice. It shows some simple ways to help you become known as a fabulous place to work. I'm proud of the Workplace Excellence series. It can be used for group training or personal development. You can have the whole library or any one title as a DVD or streamed. It's all about best practice, so please use this series and inspire your people to rise above the benchmarks and create workplace excellence.